The Swans and the Villains head to head in South Wales. The home side are within reaching distance of safety, though after back-to-back -back wins over Arsenal and Norwich, they did lose 3-2 at Bournemouth last time out. The visitors are looking to end a run of five straight top flight defeats. Froggy, welcome back to the studio. What are the key areas in this one? Possession, of which swans you tend to have a lot of at the Liberty Stadium. And we've played them a few times. What they do is they'll keep the ball, always happy to let them have it in their own half because they can't hurt you. You can have all the possession in the world, but if you don't get out your own half, there's no point. So if, you know, obviously when they get the ball from the back, if we can just drop into our own positions and just you know, let them play, uh, I think it'll be a, a game on the counter-attack and we'll have to hit them on the counter-attack. It's such a huge game now, Jack, because yeah. each week, you know, we're running out of, of, of chances now. There's the big North East derby. They're either both going to pick up a point or one of them's going to take all three, of which mm. makes it even harder for us. So um, a, a win is an absolute must against a team that's been very much up and down themselves all season. New boy and debutant is uh, looking down there, Andre Green. Time to give youth its head, or is it a tricky one for the manager? Having seen the reaction of the supporters against Spurs, I think it's a time to bring them on. I thought the reception he got was phenomenal. Yeah. Considering we are getting beat, the situation the club's in, they got right behind him every time he kicked the ball, everything he did, he was getting huge su support. And I think now the supporters are ready to see you know, that, that generation of under-21 starlets that we've got. And it's so exciting for him, isn't it? And for Jordan Lyon yeah. and Keenan Davis to be involved. You can sense that they've got that real enthusiasm. They're not scarred either, Jack, as well. No. I think that's really important. The key thing is that, that you know, they've, they've not been part of what's happened this season or the previous three. So they don't carry those mental and physical scars of what's happened. They're coming fresh, one, wanting to prove a point, wanting to show the manager that I'm worth a place in the team. Yeah. And I think we'll get one or two more between now and the end of the season. But really impressed with this boy. You know, physically tall, strong, didn't look out of place at all in amongst uh, the rest of the players. And Sigurdsson and Williams, the, the men to watch out for for Swansea, you think? Yeah, I mean, the skipper's massive influence for them, uh, Williams. And Sigurdsson, what can you say about his form? Simply cannot stop scoring, uh, which is, you know, for a midfielder, is absolutely crucial in the Premier League. And he's, with his goals, he's almost got them away from that relegation zone because at one stage, Swansea looked like they could have been ones to drop in the bottom three. And dare I say, would you a win? <laughs> we've been due a win for a long time now, Jack, haven't <laughs> we? we? Have. And we've been saying it for every single win. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I mean, we are due a win. And, and it's against a team that... If you look at our, our, our opponents the last few weeks, really we didn't give ourselves much chance because they're top no. quality opposition. This is different. There is a chance against a team. Swansea of a few years ago, I wouldn't have given us a chance because at Liberty Stadium, at home, they were fantastic with the likes of Boney in the side. They're not that team anymore. No. They still try and play, but they're nowhere near as effective as they were, and it's an opportunity to go and get three points. Thanks very much indeed, and have a great uh, Easter as well. Much more analysis over on ABTV. Tony Morley back alongside me for live commentary at the weekend as your Saturday night starts at the Liberty Stadium. We'll see you then.